remember what the haters talking about. What's up, family? Before I go in, there's a little house cleaning that must be done. If you have not done so already, after you subscribe, there's a little bell next to your subscribe button. Go ahead and click that thing so you can get your notifications each time I drop a new video like this. That way you'll be in the loop first. Also, smash up the likes, smash up the likes, smash up the likes. It helps with my video positioning on YouTube. That's got something to do with algorithm and all that old stuff. But smash those likes up. It's not necessarily saying that you agree with the content or you agree with my position. It's just saying that you are acknowledging that you appreciate the content. You appreciate me posting the content, taking time out of my valuable schedule to bring you this news and information. Now, this particular story involves a video of a 14-year-old boy at school being bullied. I mean, they did the boy bad, punched him up pretty bad. A subscriber by the name of Morgan Black suggested that I offer some commentary on this story. So here it is. Um, the video emerged on social media a week ago, and it's gotten like millions of views now. Although it's difficult to make out from the audio what's being said, it's apparent from the participant's tense body language that the boy in the glasses and his classmates exchanged some words. After one of the boys asked the boy to take off his glasses, another teen dressed in a gray Duke sweatshirt throws the first punch, which lands squarely on the boy's face. The boy stumbles back, and at that moment, Another teen with what looks like a lollipop in his mouth punches the boy in the face, causing him to lose his balance. Before long, the boy is being pummeled by at least four people who mercilessly beat and kick him. He's seen in the video cowering near the sink, holding his hands over his face to shield himself from being hit in the face by the punches. Okay. Number one, the obvious. Bullies get bullied. I tell y'all all the time. Bullies are created by bullies. I'm sure those boys that was beating on that boy, get bullied at home. They probably get bullied by their mothers and fathers or their sisters and brothers or all the above. And so, pressure busts a pipe. They take it out on the community at large. They take it out on their schoolmates. I know because I came from that background. I've been on both sides, so I know how to deal with it. Again, that's why the United States don't mess with China. The United States is a bully. The United States is a textbook bully. They won't mess with China. And they ain't going to mess with North Korea. Because North Korea don't mind setting it off. They're not going to mess with Russia. They're not going to mess with any of those nations who can defend themselves. And who can leave a whole lot of American bodies on the ground. They're not going to do that. They look for the easy targets, the soft spots. That's why every time you see America doing something, dropping something on somebody, whatever, whatever, it's always a little small country, you know, with 10 people. They ain't going to do nothing to those people. They're going to go in and hit those little small countries. They're going to call it a war and the war going to be over in less than 24 hours because they can't match America's might. The thing about this guy, the little kid that disturbed me the most, even though he's the victim in this, I feel like if I got a fight, if fight is imminent, I may as well get some punches in. 
I'm not going to just let anybody hit me and not fight back. That's why I couldn't have marched with Martin Luther King. I couldn't have done it. I would have had Swain back. And some of you might say, well, you would got killed. Well, I just would have gotten killed because I'm just not built like that. I'm not built for somebody to violate me and not retaliate. I'd rather die than to be that type of a person because I could not live with myself. If you allow somebody to push you around and beat you up and you do nothing about it, all you do is, hey man, can we just get along? Hey, and you just try to, you know, be nice. That yeah, stuff don't work. They're going to extort you. You're going to either have to give them some type of gifts, whether it be money, some some candy, you know, uh, you're going to have to give them something. Or you're going to take beatings. Or you may still get all of the above. So you may as well fight back. Now, the school where all of this took place at has been identified as Blueford Jemison Academy. It is the only all-male middle and high school in Baltimore City, and its vision is to build strong, positive relationships with male scholars so they can achieve independence, confidence, and academic knowledge as they pursue college and career opportunities. Okay, that's all fine and dandy, but what I want to know is, what good is all of this confidence and strength? If you can't use it to protect yourself from people who you're supposed to have these positive relationships with at the school that teaches you and gives you all of this academic knowledge. No more talk. What the talking about? <laughs>